My name is Jenny Rasmussen and I am 24 years old, born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm the youngest of four kids. My dad was a pastor for 33 years total and my mom was the faithful pastor's wife. I tend to be pretty evenly extroverted and introverted and it definitely depends on circumstances. I love to meet new people and I love to hang out with friends but I also love to just spend time thinking and processing. Many people tell me that I'm very optimistic and <laughs> always looking at the bright side, maybe annoyingly so, but I'm really just trying to choose the adventure in my life and you can't plan adventure, adventure comes to you, so it's a good idea, just make a brainstorm list of things that you wanna do in your life or in a day and then let the day unfold. Um, so I love spontaneity, but I also like a plan and a list as well, kind of a mixture of everything. I went to Trinity International University and I can remember my junior year um, going up to the head of our missions department at the time, Graham Aiken, and I just said, Graham, what should I do with my life? And he happened to be holding information for a newer organization called GoCor. And he told me about it, how GoCor empowers college grads, especially, but anyone in their 20s, to serve overseas for two years. And I can remember feeling very intrigued. And I loved talking with Paul and Julia about GoCor when they described the vision of GoCor uh, and the heart behind it, that really resonated with my heart. And even when they talked about raising funds and how they really promoted more of um, an approach of one-on-one -on -one meetings and inviting people to join your ministry and be a part of serving God uh, through what you're doing, it felt so personable. I was talking with my dad and he said, you know, Jenny, um, uh, from what I can see from GoCor, it seems like a good ministry. Why don't you just start taking a step forward? Just apply. God can close the door at any point. Um, just start moving forward. And so it was at that point that I said, okay, I am 100% in. I'm going to start moving forward. God, close the door at any point you want. As I ste took steps forward, it just became more and more clear that this was the way to go and there was peace every step of the way. I worked for an organization called Daughters of Cambodia. Now Daughters of Cambodia seeks to help women as well as transgender males come out of the sex trade by giving them new employment, new opportunity for making a living and making salary. For me personally, I worked more on the social work end. I had three main roles. I did staff care and helped to empower both the foreign volunteers and Cambodian staff to be able to do their jobs well. Another job that I had was working with the lady boys in our son's program. I would teach discipleship classes for them as well as help provide counseling for the boys as well. And then my third role was working with the girls who were on a training level. So anytime that new clients begin working at Daughters of Cambodia, they just begin on the training level and then they can work their way up. So my job was to help make this transition as seamless as possible, encourage them, meet with them, pray with them, try to make them laugh, um, yeah, just really support them during the beginning time. It's really amazing because my major was Christian ministries with an emphasis in counseling and social services. And that is exactly what I was doing in Cambodia when I worked at Daughters of Cambodia. And yet there were many times when I was sitting in a room during, doing counseling or staff care meetings that I can remember thinking, okay, I need more training. I felt that I had a foundation and my education was really helpful and certain intuitions and giftings and God was really gracious and helpful. But it was just really clear to me that if I wanted to continue in this field, um, and do a good job and be professional, I needed more training and more skills. And so now I'm at a point where I want to take this year, maybe do some 
transitional work, maybe something not related to social work <laughs> for a little bit, just kind of let my mind unwind and process Cambodia a little bit. But I want to apply for grad school for next fall, and I would like to get my master's in counseling. And so I feel like I've really been equipped well through my experience in Cambodia and just very thankful to GOCOR because they set me up to be able to go to Cambodia and work with daughters and then through that I've just discovered more and more of my passions and my calling in my life. So it's really been amazing.